Hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, we seem to have got them. I've got them, I've got them, I've got them. I'm wearing sparkly to depict the magic that I have finally got. I've been watching what they're doing closely. Uh, I've kept bringing up the blue. And I'm going to just go into it as I've been advised um, by a few people now because the notes continue to grow. Uh, the inner standing of what I was looking at continued to grow. So I'm going to end up with too much and then end up like a lot of the notes I take, never putting it out. And so we have a blue and magic spell. This is the gestational spell or a huge aspect of it that I've been picking up on throughout this whole, um, you know, uh, COVID scenario. And so this blue and yellow spell, I've been watching what they're doing with the symbolism, with their dates and the certain colours, with the words behind them that they're putting out there. And so I want to talk about quickly just colour in the first instance. And so this is a bit of fun being sparkly while, while we do it. And so I want to speak about um, Isaac Newton. And Isaac Newton, Newton, um, in the 1600s, he uh, passed a thin beam of sunlight through a glass prism, showing red, yellow, green, blue, and violet on the opposite wall. This is when he theorized um, that colors were visual vibrations. They were the visual manifestation of frequency of vibrations. Professor Stapleton continued on that work and developed the theories that now a lot of the um, equipment that we use to detect breast cancers, uh, detect uh, thermal imaging cameras, uh, to find lost people or, um, you know, criminals. And so he, he, he put into the equation of pressure equals force, area equals energy, and then the volume is, is absolutely created. So the frequency. So if you can target certain colors, put in both of these theories together, if you can target certain colors and if you can... Um, put magic behind that, i.e. intent, with the knowledge of what those colours do, then you have a strong magical spell. Now, they use the primary colours because, one, they are very strong, they're very easy to uh, depict, and they're very easy to hide in plain sight, i.e. in logos, political sites, uh, royalty. So, this is where uh, they have chosen in this instance for this whole gestational spell that I've been watching them through, blue and yellow. So we're going to see why. Now, we've got them on this and I'll get to that at the end because once you have a little bit like when you've been... Um, when you've been suffering from something, an ailment, and you finally get the diagnosis, it, once you get that label, this is where in your wisdom, you can use that label not to carry it as your own, but to have something to target towards, i.e. certain ailments, then you know, right, okay, I need to increase these herbs, these herbs, these herbs, I need to do this, I need to cut that out. You have a structure to go by to release yourself from that label altogether. Um, too many people get stuck in the labels, but that's another show. So we've got the blue. Let's find the blue on here. Um, I'm just going to read it out to you. So uh, it says in here, blue candles are good. And this is why um, I do it with my magic. You use candles, colored candles, colored rope, uh, colored ribbon. Uh, I like the rope and ribbon and the candles with uh, you use them for the color because it focuses that intent and it helps you carry the frequency of that color. And so and then put in physical aspects as these people in power have got the power where with all the money to do for everybody to see uh, it is super powerful. So. It says here in the first instance, blue candles are good to use in spells pertaining to spirituality, meditation, summoning demons, healing, serenity, obtaining the truth, influencing fidelity and loyalty, bringing inner peace and for knowledge and wisdom. But 
blue can also be used for establishing harmony in the home for increasing occult power and for spiritual protection. For workings of black magic, blue can be used for inciting depression, sadness, hopelessness, lack of sympathy, coldness and gloom. And we've seen that in that um, some people, and again, it's the intent, and it takes at least two people to be on the same wavelength of that intent. So we've got many people in the masses that are have been stripped away from their inner knowingness, their, their knowing thyself, and, and they have, have gone so far away from their source energy that we have record numbers of people before even this gestational spell started on the brink of depression, on the brink of suicide. And so where well, we've had very few of us pick up on these frequencies, and this is why it's, I'm excited that we've got them because now with intent, we can focus in on these color frequencies, these vibrations and, and um, put force to force with the magic that they are putting out, we can put force. So please share this out. Please describe what I'm describing because this is how we get it. When we can get ahead of them, and meet that force with force, this is when change can happen and sparkles can be created. So it says for black magic, blue can also be used for inciting depression, sadness, hopelessness, lack of sympathy, coldness and gloom. And in the masses, we've seen this where people have had very little sympathy for one another, being slayed in each other, um, been causing terrible sadness and hopelessness. The whole um, number 17 thing, you know, built up that hope and created such heartbreak and sadness when it was shown to be a sigh of. Um, for, for, for the coldness and the gloom, we see that the, the social distancing, so the rules that they've put out alongside this frequency, this spell work, has established roots in the spell work of the minds of the people because they even created coldness, i.e. nobody is allowed to hug, nobody was allowed to see each other, which then bolsters the depression, the gloom, the hopelessness, um, and the lack of sympathy. Uh, we've seen some really weird and crazy things. Uh, people virtue signaling, I got it right online, about the most ridiculous things and having no sympathy um, for an elderly person losing their life, um, not being able to see their loved ones, actually calling them selfish. Um, so the, there's been a distortion here with the blue frequency and that's because of the intent that was put behind what could be beautiful, what could bring people into their own spirituality, into their inner grounds through meditation. Um, even the summoning of demons. Now I'm going to tell you, me, Wayne and others that I've spoken to have felt this kind of energy that could be described as this being built up amongst us and around us, walking alongside us. Now a lot of this has been summoning up people's inner demons that they haven't got the spiritual wherewithal teaching um, or, or just in a knowing to deal with. And so when this frequency is put out there with negative intent for the harm of others, this blue frequency, we are um, literally allowing others, outside forces to summon up the inner demons, which literally attack the system, the body from the within. And so this creates a weakness, this creates um, the ability for them to uh, gain more power, more um, oppression, more control. And so we, we carry on with, with this. Now, the yellow, the yellow I've been picking up on, and that was interesting to me because it wasn't quite as quick um, for it to come, and which is why I'm glad I waited. And so it says here, yellow candles are used in workings for passing exams, increasing one's intelligence and intellect, 
Yellow energy rules over the logical, conscious side of the brain. Computers, communication, audio, video, TV, electronics, books, literature, and the will. Yellow is used to improve the mind, to deepen concentration, for mental left-brained power, to enhance learning ability, and for speech, writing, and publishing. Yellow rules over media, concerns, gossip, slander, interviews, brothers, sisters, neighbours, rumours, theft, and all areas of study and communication. Spiritually, yellow can be used for astral travel along with blue and purple. Yellow is also used to overcome addictions and break habits. Yellow is good for friendship. In workings of black magic, however, yellow is used to incite infidelity, something that also comes up in the blue. Uh, cowardice, we've definitely seen that. People rolling over, closing their businesses, doing things uh, like wearing masks, even when it says on the packet they don't do anything. Um, decay, we have seen this in that there has been much, much decay amongst the people, the decay in friendships disease, dying, insanity, and inconsistency in others. Now, the yellow has been so powerful in this spell, in this frequency, because of that intent that is put behind it. It has actually worked to use all of the things regarding communication that I mentioned and show the power that they have through this yellow frequency, i.e. limiting the speech, uh, banning people, getting others to bully others for saying common sense things or just their own opinion, um, the shadow banning, uh, so that the freedom of speech has been well and truly um, muted through this yellow frequency. Uh, it has also shown us the power that they have to literally switch us off from the world we've allowed them to create, that we've co-created with them, in that they can switch you out of accounts, they can um, make you lose your income, all remotely, all without firing a bullet. Um, we've also seen that the yellow through all of these things, communication, media, um, through these electronics, we have seen that they've they can mold the minds, um, only showing stories that boost their narrative, that cause confusion, uh, wanted confusion. Uh, so, and everything else has not been seen, therefore to many does not exist. So they have literally built up this magic spell, this simulation uh, through having the controls of all of these communic communicative things. Um, We've seen that in uh, inciting infidelity, people have been really stuck in relationships. I've helped a lot of people in relationship crisis over this time um, because there has been questions to their fidelity um, and there has been a, a, a very odd locking down together in small quarters without the normal distractions that people have gotten conditioned to and used to. We've seen cowardice, you know, in droves by the way that people have just shut up shop, that have just done as they're told. Uh, we've seen bravery too, but for a long time, it's been a heck of a lot of cowardice. We've seen decay. Um, decay amongst friendships. We have seen decay in people's health because ironically in the protection of others through this yellow frequency spell, people haven't been able to get planned operations. They haven't been able to see their doctors when they need to uh, for run of the mill things that have turned into serious things. We've seen disease uh, be very distorted that we, we the, the yellow frequency, the intent behind the spell has been to tunnel vision, everybody's vision to the one disease, to the one thing that they are creating in the minds of people into some reality uh, that people are then living by, shutting up their shops for, uh, losing their jobs for. Uh, we have seen the dying all over through, again, the communication, the audio, TV, speech, uh, we have seen um, people dying, dying, dying. Even though those numbers have been changed around and played with and molded like Play-Doh, 
we have all we've heard about is dying, 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 must stop the dying. Uh, we've caused the dying. All of these uh, spells, these titles that they put on top of the articles, very cleverly worded, that code up with numbers. And so it, it is absolutely a, a mind spell creating a simulation around the minds of those that read it. Um, We've then seen the inconsistency in others. Through this, we have had the absolute play-by-play -play of people protecting one political figure um, and then demeaning another for doing mainly the exact same thing and vice versa. And so we've seen that, that this inconsistency has been shown. Uh, people who have talked the big talk over the years, you know, raging against the machine, all of a sudden you see that when certain things are threatened for them, they, you know, are backing off or they're saying something different. We've been seeing inconsistency deliberately. And what people will say, why do they make a fool of themselves? Don't you think they would be a bit more careful? Well, even sometimes, yes, they make mistakes. But even the most ridiculous things like Fauci saying, wear a mask, don't wear a mask, wear a mask, don't wear a mask, wear two, wear three, wear four. The inconsistency there is absolutely backed up by the yellow frequency, the lower end of the yellow frequency, the more negative intent that you can use the yellow frequency for. This inconsistency causes cognitive dissonance and it causes people who are uh, weak minded enough or open enough or just not spiritually aware enough to then because he's depicted as a leader with usually blue behind him when he's doing his speeches and things, people level down to his level because it's okay for him to be inconsistent and it's okay for us to be inconsistent. So we've seen this in the masses. Um, it says here, yellow, mercury rules over the color yellow. What, Workings using yellow energy need the power of the solar and throat chakras. Both of these chakras work as a pair. Yellow energy is best used on Wednesdays and Sundays. They've been doing a, I've mentioned that a few times and I've watched this. A lot of weird announcements they, they would usually do on a working day. They've been waiting till weekends for sure. Um, for anything pertaining to intellect and communication, do the working on a Wednesday. For workings using the force of will, these are best performed on a Sunday. And this is where they've been putting out, particularly in the UK, announcements of new rules, of new proposed bills, of new laws on a Sunday, which is unheard of really in Parliament. But they're putting out these announcements very often on a Sunday. And this is because they are challenging your force of willpower, your force of will to protect or create your freedoms. And so it's super clever and super uh, dark. Now, most of the politicians, some of them, yes, are in the occult life. They'll know a lot of this kind of stuff. The rest of them are getting paid. They don't really have a lot of sympathy or empathy with others. So they're quite happy to go along with whatever they are told to go along with. So it's not as if everybody's in the deep occult. No. Um, so going back to the blue and the yellow together, if you look at the whole um, time of this gestational spell, if you look at it, we've seen um, blue, if you, blue overalls, blue masks, videos everywhere of surgical blues, uh, everybody dancing around in surgical blues, even though it's in the middle of a pandemic, people looking back in the future, back at history, seeing these TikTok videos will be like, what the hell? And people took this, was this, was this serious? Were they joking? Were they doing like a huge big joint test run? Or because it is ridiculous, but that got the frequency out there. It got the color out there in plentiful amounts. Uh, it got people um, associating what was happening uh, the inconsistency of the panic, yet the silliness, uh, the, the, to get on the train, so to speak. Everybody was trumpeting their tune, so to speak, you know, because these wonderful nurses and doctors doing something lovely to keep people's spirits cheery. Ridiculous. 
but it got the blue out there and they did everything they could to get these colors out in the plentiful. Now, if you think about um, blues being surgical blues, surgical masks, all of that, and um, the blue, the Democrats, the Tories over here, uh, the blue political party. And so you look at blue and it's like, I've got the blues, I'm feeling blue. Uh, you know, there's a lot of information in that. And I'm gonna go into that in a separate video just regarding more of the blue. This is just to say, I feel if we could match our intent and our force behind these two colors with a very different intent and force to match their force. Look like a label when a doctor gives you a label and you know which herbs to increase and what to cut out. It gives us more of a power to fight with what we know when you bring light to something which would be the sun, which would be yellow, it's far easier to um, meet it force with force when you know what you're fighting. Uh, you, 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 far, you fight a lot better when you don't have a blindfold on, um, <clears throat> hiding your sight from being able to see what is coming at you. So this gives us real power in the magical world to meet force with force, to say, I've got you, I know what you're doing. So if you think of yellow, the yellow, they've got the, um, <clears throat> I use them, excuse me, for when I'm doing tattooing, a, a tattoo semi-permanent makeup before all of this started. Um, and so the, the yellow, the needles, the needle boxes are always by law yellow. Um, you've got the, the yellow uh, disposable boxes that you put any sharps in, any surgical, sharps in. Uh, we have on Utopia, they showed the yellow tents. Uh, I'm sure there's other pandemic movies, no doubt, with yellow tents, the FEMA camp type tents on. This shows that it's, and it's, it, it's a disconcerting because on one side, it's benevolent, it's the sunshine, it's enlightenment, it's bright, it's summer, it's abundance. But on the other hand, it is burning, it's too hot, it's dangerous. You need to lock it away, either in a tent as a person or in a, a case as a needle, in a sharps case. So them doing this and matching the color with the frequency is very, very clever. And I've got to give them kudos for it. I mean, it is amazing, the knowledge that they've kept hidden from people um, that people don't gener generally know and know that they can utilize too. Um, and it, you do sort of sit back and awe and think, wow. But if you think along the lines of, <clears throat> if me saying magic is too far for you, think along the lines of Isaac Newton, which is why I started off with that explanation and Stapleton, absolutely measuring uh, the visual vibration and frequency that colors carry. We know through the lumens that we can measure um, for, for how many um, NMs we get out of a light bulb, but we can measure the strength of it. We can measure that they are on different frequencies, some of a shorter wave and some of a longer wave. And so it does carry power, you know, and everything is light. Um, everything is uh, carried through those frequencies. And there is visible light to our naked eye. And there is the occult. There is the hidden. And there is power in knowing all of those. There's power in me being able to see people's auras. I can read them. I can... Um, I can, I can do more with it when I know. So if you look at some of these, um, just some, because again, notes everywhere, I could go on forever and I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna start getting them out there and then put, we'll put them together together. So if we go to share screen, uh, we've got here on um, my Twitter, it was all over and you can see with what they make trend as well. We've got 2.6 million well spent on, uh, but they couldn't give uh, children their free school meal money when they were locking down schools, but never mind. Um, 2.6 million well spent. Uh, it's painted blue and look, <laughs> and there are so many times that the Tories 
or, and royal family are, are drenched in blue. You're telling me I could have done that for a thousand pounds. Give me a few tins of paint. I'm very good at it. It's literally, they just painted it blue and it's cost 2.6. This has been a magic spell in itself. They've disappeared so much money over here in America and Australia and Canada than never seen before. It's never happened in, in, in financial keeping history that this has happened. So, I mean, it is blue, like this person says. Then we get Trump. And this um, really struck me. And some people will say it's a coincidence. I stick by the fact that this something in my psychic eye uh, pricked when I saw him do this. Certain key speeches, and I've got the time or energy to go through the notes to find out exactly when I've written them down. But certain key speeches, including this farewell speech of his, he wore blue a blue tie and there was there was certain aspects of it that now thankfully people are seeing that this was part of the spell to build people up to divide people um and he's wearing blue on his exit as blue being the democrats comes in uh, so he's he's creating the ground he, he's he's um putting down the the ground for 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 him to come in for um for Biden to come in and so these blue the blue symbolism has been everywhere and they've been putting it in our face the yellow has been a bit more subtle but very definitely there and it's had its strength in its subtly subtlety as symbolism but actually there has been very little subtle behavior as far as the frequency of yellow if we go back to what i started off with of what yellow sort of pertains to communication the internet intellect um words speech uh all of those have been very definitely and not subtly controlled uh, um literally in your face people wouldn't have believed me four years ago if i'd said they're gonna start kicking presidents off um off twitter they're gonna start doing this they're gonna uh, make people lose their whole incomes whole channels for saying um something that is uh, absolutely in even their um word scientifically correct uh, nobody would have believed that and they've been so in your face with that, with that yellow frequency of we can do this, we have built up the structures that we own these platforms and we've made them so big that we are in absolute cahoots with, so what they've been doing here is merging religion, science, politics, um, private business, corporations. This has been part of this spell, i.e. this new world order type of deal, creating um, less illusion about the fact that they don't work together, that yes, they might hate each other, but they will work together to control the masses, their customers, their slaves. And so this is where we start to get conditioned into um, it being normal that the likes of uh, private business, such private business, such as Facebook and Twitter can have such a sway in politics by being so unfair, i.e. not creating any freedom of speech, but actually um, controlling and channeling the narrative of speech. We've seen that you look at the gates of hell, that guy, I mean, he's been sitting on for his holy throne and throwing down uh, rules and stipulations, um, literally because of a computer simulation uh, that he creates with the Imperial College of London or whatever you call it. And so the, 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 he's literally being created in that. So he has merged with religion, as I put out a video the other day, the cover religion. Um, who else we've seen that even the things like Fauci, the inconsistencies of wear one, don't wear one. Yeah, I said that, but don't don't listen to that. That has been more to sway even um, medical and political and science into the bucket of religion, getting us used to the fact that they're all the same. 
they're dropping a lot of their veils, a lot of their illusions through this spell work, because even that it is the belief. You just believe me. It doesn't matter what I said last week. It doesn't matter what the scientific evidence has said all of these years that we've ever had masks or anything else for that matter. All that matters is that you believe what I say. The latest thing I say, you believe it and you do it. And so this has been a merger. We're seeing the merger. This is why we do have to catch them out at things like this. Now, people might think, oh, this is silly, Jenny. You know, yes, you've hit the mark on a few things, but, you know, what difference does it make that we know that they've been doing occult workings, magic spells uh, to help create this? Well, it makes a hell of a lot of difference because when you have the image the bullseye it's much better throwing darts at a dartboard when you can see the damn dartboard especially when you can see the damn bullseye it means we can get our colored candles we can have our intent our force we can be and i would love people to listen to this and take it seriously because i know it's a huge thing that could have a huge impact on their workings right now. Magic works, especially when two or more people are behind it and in, in knowing of it. If we were taking pictures on social media on certain days with certain colors on and having our intent behind that with our wording alongside that, this is meeting force with force and it would and will make a heck of a lot of difference. Even in your individual life, we are all being affected one way or the other to varying degrees by uh, the darkness that is going on right now. The demons that are being summoned right now in individuals and just within this realm. And so we've got the fact that even in our individual lives, by taking on board what I've been saying today, at least we are even protecting ourselves at the very least by meeting colour with colour, but with very different intent, with very different um, force behind it. But it's the same colour. So it gives a lot more power to you defeating it or protecting yourself from it. So it's a lot to consider and there's a lot more on particularly the blue that keeps coming up for me and I need to dig in deep, deeper to it. But I wanted to bring this to light today. Now I've kept putting it off, kept thinking, no, I could put a real good presentation together. And believe you me, I did. I did on OBS and I don't know how to work the damn thing as soon as I go to play it. I don't know where the slides are coming up. So I thought, no, I'm just going to do my style, what I can do really. That's about what I can do um, and put it out there because I know there's people out there that can um, have enough uh, wherewithal within the magical sphere to take this on board, understand what I'm saying and actually help me out here and help, um, help get them back a little bit. One thing other that I want to mention also is what do we get when we mix green and, sorry, I'm going to give them the answer away, Jenny, blue and yellow together, we get green. Of course we do. So when we confuse and limit speech and divide people and have people questioning fidelity, uh, have people have their insecurities come up, feeling blue, the blues, feeling depressed, um, when we have people doing all of those things and you're mixing that up, what do you get? You get the green color, the heart chakra. So this means that people are in a reactionary state. They are easily broken hearted, i.e. when you do a little political trickaroo like fraud and let them know that they've been robbed. They really have been. Let them know that it was taken from them unfairly not going to do anything about it we just want the heartbreak we just want the confusion we just want the outrage we want the division it's so multi-layered and it is so clever because they can layer this spell work up so well 
I mean, you know, I've got to keep saying it, kudos where, where it's due, but we need to take seriously also those who practice absolutely seeing what i'm saying now and and meeting force with force color with color but with very 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 different intent very different intent we could burn a hole in this mother sucker right now if we could do this together if we could build ourselves up to actually taking on board what they're doing to us and flipping it right back at them in the right colors in the right frequency it's super powerful exciting to no end uh i'm glad i've been watching it i'm glad i've been picking up on it and seeing it uh there's a lot more to pick up on the blue uh, that i'm going to go into while i'm sparkly i'm going to try anyway theodore permit in uh, so I hope this made sense. I hope it made as much sense as it has been making to me as I've been watching these people, um, seeing what they're doing and working out the spell work that they've been doing in the shadows. Um, it's very, very clever. As I said before, it's very, very multi-layered and they can um, mold and build on this uh, color frequency vibrational magic very, very easily. The loophole is, uh, one of the biggest loopholes is that I've caught them out of it. I've caught their colours and I've caught their intent behind it. Um, look out. And so this is a huge loophole because they don't want people meeting force with force, vibration with vibration, but with very different intent. Cancel each other out at the very least. And then at least we can start again. When people have gotten a breather, from the magic spell that they have been under. Anybody questioning if magic works? Look, everybody shut their businesses. Everybody put masks on that, that you know, we know, you know, don't work. You know, so magic doesn't work. Of course it works, it works a treat. So it'll work a treat for us too, if we put the force behind it if we have the knowing and the wherewithal and the direction, so much easier getting the bullseye when you can see the damn bullseye. They've, so that's, that's the major loophole that I've come up with thus far. And that's the one I'm really enjoying right now, I've got to admit. Uh, but they can layer this up and they have been layering it up. But make sure you look out for more people coming up with um, who you either know are Masons or are, um, you, you suspect of a part of that society. And uh, look out for the yellow that they're wearing in particular. I've got a feeling there's going to be a few figures either in the public over uh, propaganda uh, wearing yellow, yellow ties, yellow dresses. Um, or you're just going to know a few people in your individual life all of a sudden Taking a picture of something yellow for some reason, you know, with some kind of coded message. Yeah, I, I know that's going to happen. So I can't wait for you to come back to this video and comment when you see that. Uh, so, ah, no, there's another part of this. There's another part of this because, and that was in my notes, damn it. So, my beautiful brother and sister, Paul and Gaia. I was discussing this with them and they'll let you know in the comments. I know they will. Months ago. I think it was months ago, a while ago. And uh, and I'd said, I'm not going too far when I say, guys, I'm, I'm not. that This is a rerun of World War II with all of the new techs and the social medias that we have now. And the mask is, is tantamount to the badge that was worn on the arm of, you know, the first letter of my name. And uh, that it was absolutely symbolic um, to, to the, the, the fear, uh, to the control and the giving away of, of intellect uh, by wearing one. It was symbolic, just as it was as symbolic as it is now when we look back at history and recognize that those things were worn on the arm of the first letter of my name. 
And so the, even that, they are calling back on generational wounds. And people don't consciously know what they're doing, but they're wearing these things that I bought to do a video on earlier today. They're wearing these things subconsciously. Then the subconscious knows that there's a wound there, that there's a generational wound there. The awful things happened when similar symbology was had to be worn. Um, uh, during that hor horrific time for them. So even these generational wounds feeds back to the blue and the yellow being mixed together and green heart chakra wounding, um, feeling triggered. Uh, so that's another one. But I, I know that they sent me more information on that. I'm going to go back to that information because I did take notes on it and come back to you with this because they've been doing this now for what, how many months? So there are many layers that I've been noticing of this blue and yellow magic. And it's like, gotcha, gotcha, good. Now I can get you. And so you better know I've got this beautiful feather from my little Harpo, my little pal. Um, Harpo, it's the wrong name, Shay Shay. Where did Harpo come from? Harpo is another parrot, but yeah. So anything that I've got blue and yellow that I know has lovely frequency. Uh, this particular one was when I was babysitting, parrot sitting uh, her for, for my gem gem. And, um, and, and she, she, she gave me this feather. She dropped a feather. And so I kept it. Uh, so things like that I can use very powerfully uh, to put my focus and intent behind. Um, meeting color with color, but with very different intent and very different results. And so um, things like that, anything that you have around your home, just to keep your focus and your intent on. Um, we do need to be um, looking further into lights, i.e. having the different colored lights in our homes, in our machinery uh, for healing, uh, for magical purposes. This is where science and magic, again, I can see it happening, is there's a, there's a re-remembrance that actually they're not separate. Science was birthed from magic. It's just, again, turned into a religion, the same way religion turned magic into just witchcraft and witchcraft only, burn them at the stake. And so, we just need to find that balance and stop letting people take over of these beautiful knowings that we humans have of these beautiful um, ways of doing things and understandings of things that we are absorbed by. We absorb by light constantly. We live in a lit up world. <laughs> That's a little thing there. Uh, we live in a little world, but these people in the know, these people that are hidden in the shadows, know exactly how to use this light and use these colors. We need to learn. It's all about frequency and color right now. And the colors are blue, yellow, and therefore green. I'm going to leave it at that because I'm ranting and I'm trying to remember notes. Um, so I'm going to just do more videos as they come. Um, as they come to me and uh, and get this out. And then the right people will know what to do with it. That's my trust, that's my want, and that's my will. I love you all, I appreciate you all. Please help me get them. Force with force. Love you all.